EA Sports. It's in the game. Fight fans, I'm Joe Tessitore, and I welcome you to the training gym. This is where our head trainer is going to get you started in learning all the basic moves to make you a champ. Let's see where you're at with your punches. Looking good, kid. Show me a straight right. Nice work. Left hook. That was some nice punches. Right to the head. All right. Uppercut to the head. That's what I like to see. Right uppercut to the head. Nice work. Jab to the body. Looking good, kid. Won't take long before you'll be winning fights. Straight to the body. Nice work. Left hook to the body. Nice. Give me a right hook to the body. All right. Left uppercut to the body. That was good. Saw some nice technique there. Okay, right uppercut to the body. Looking good, kid. All right. Let's sit down on your punches and let's throw some. <laughs> Get to the center and 
get to you. Come on. Slowly balance yourself. Come on now. Get to your feet, kid. Get your feet. You're not, kid. That was great work. tell you you know i'm not gonna get hit by that man that man hurts that man hits too hard that's what ali would tell you he's gonna stay on the outside use his legs give tyson angles where he can't be set you know give him distance where tyson will be making a nice breeze but not doing any damage on the chin of ali and i tell you one other way he'll talk to him and he'll break him down he'll say that's the best you can do and tyson will get broken down what an uppercut by tyson Well placed counter punch by Tyson. Holy cow! Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look. What it do? It's your boy, Big Very Snoop. productive for him. Now he heads back to his corner, and they're going to try to repeat the success they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing and remember what set up those big shots. It was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Nostradamus to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. 
But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. who have gone the distance with a prime Mike Tyson, but they never really gave you the sense that they were capable of winning and doing so. Because they did not have that belief, that sense themselves. They got to a point where they were a co-conspirator to their own demise, that they were cooperating with the wrong guy, with the enemy. They were not looking to win. They were hoping to either survive or get the hell out of there. They used to make silent agreements on the inside. When they had opportunities to work, they didn't work. They put their hands behind Tyson. Oh! Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. to have a discussion about Muhammad Ali without bringing up the name of Smokin' Joe Frazier. Their trilogy, perhaps the most documented in the history of the sport. Well, Fred Astaire, maybe the greatest dancer of all time, had to have Ginger Rogers. And you do need somebody to match up with. And he found that person. He found that person in every way was the perfect, perfect guy to make great fights with. You know, personality-wise, the opposite of each other. And style-wise, in that ring, the opposite. One guy coming forward, another guy on the outside looking to take advantage of that forward motion. Well, his opponent doesn't like that. that. And the ref that. looks at him and says, head, no headbutting, hands out the warning. Tyson's resting up after a round in where he was so very accurate. And Teddy, if you want to have one single quality out there as an offensive fighter, accuracy is among the ones you want to have. Yeah, to be accurate, that means you have to be calm and you have to be smart, that you know that you're putting the punches in certain specific places for a reason. And boxing... I think this will make you win all three. And it usually is about the smartest guys. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Doing well on the outside. Well, we told you it could be this kind of fight, and as advertised thus far. Ali's 
He's got those earmuffs on, and he's got his hands tight against his body. But Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe. You know, and the, the weather's a little bad, and you say, I, I want to be safe here. I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. Stay away from the inside. Wow! Muhammad Ali is almost out of it there. He was stunned. Ali got tagged there. Tokyo Police Club. A toast to the last of a dying breed. They're crawling back to bed. They're falling back to sleep. Entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Nostradamus to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. trying to create some space between him and his opponent. You know he wants to fight on the inside. He cannot be smothered. Keep moving, keep moving. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh! Muhammad Ali stunned and he is hurt. Holy cow! Ali's the first knockdown victim of the night in this fight. up after being knocked down. Be interesting to see how he responds here. You know, we've always been able to see how he responds in a physical way, in an athletic way. Great. I mean, he has everything. Now, we're going to see if he has the real package, the full package. What is in the heart? What is in the soul? What is in the mind of Muhammad Ali? Muhammad Ali's got to deal with a cut and cheek. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. There it is! Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. <laughs> He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, 
then this is going to be an all time classic. best way to get smooth right now but what he doesn't want to do joe is to reach in there you know reach out to grab his guy and then he leaves himself open he's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him he's not exposing himself to get dropped again boy just staying on the outside away from danger and scoring well mike tyson just coming out here after being knocked down in the last round. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for that will tell you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine? Well, the first thing I look for is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see, and you want to make sure that that basement is solid, there's cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor waving a little when there's a wind. You're looking at his legs. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. Halfway through round six. A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Ali. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Teddy, throughout his career, Ali has always been surrounded by many very familiar faces in his entourage. Yeah, it makes him feel comfortable. And, you know, I'm not going to be derogatory about it, but to be quite frank, he has the kind of personality where, you know, he wants to be the boss. You know, he wants to be the guy that stands out in the room. So he has guys around him that allow him to stand out in that room. And that's most of the characters that you're going to see, most of the people you're going to see in that entourage. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fence. Get in there. Let's go. Get it out. Get it out. Ali getting beat at his own game on the outside. Yeah, you never would have expected that with the speed of Ali. He lives. He usually rules on the outside. But here's a case where timing is beating speed.
end of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got... Just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. That was a miss by Ali. Now here's a situation where his opponent has to jump all over him. You look at the punch stats and you can see ever since the knockdown, he's just not putting forth the offense he was. No, Joe, I agree with you. If you were a fisherman, it's kind of like you just got a weather report. The tide is in, the fish are coming in. Go out there, put your ball in there, and cramp all the fish. what the corner's thinking. Are they gonna stop this? The ref is stopping this fight. Mike Tyson's gonna be partying tonight. A knockout victory. It doesn't get better than that. Tyson's your winner by knockout. Everybody but his opponent is happy now. That was an entertaining fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.